I put in an order to the Empire to send me a shitload of badasses and pillage-hungry murder machines, and instead all I got was you cupcake cup clowns and a side order of fuck nuggets. I can tell at a glance at least 50% of you are cocksuckers, and the other 50% are cocksuckers who've never been told to believe in themselves. I'm gonna shove my boots so far and fast up your assholes, it'll trigger a geological event. You all reek of poverty and animal abuse. Every breath you take is a stunning endorsement of abortion. You shit stains are a collective masterpiece of failure. You cock goblins circle jerk each other to exhaustion every night. You signed up to get pounded by the titans and probably cried like sissies when you realized they don't actually have dicks. Your sensitive pussies cry so many tears you could float away on a river of douche canoes. You glitter toned cock wrangling, fairy tinkle, bag puffin' fuck nuggets are gonna get your collective anal cavity stretched so far apart you'll think you're getting double fisted by the colossal titan himself. I will reorganize the failure that is all your lies. I will fuck start your soul! I'll make you mongoloid rock chop and thunder cut scream harder than your mother's after her fourth failed coat anger abortion. I'm gonna chop off your shriveled balls, put them where your eyes should be, put a sombrero on your head, and beat you like a pinata. Hell, I'll make you shit so many bricks you'll put the Mexicans out of business. But fear not, cause in three years, I will turn you cock monarchs into fuck masters of galactic destruction. There. Who the fuck are you? I'm an art alert, sir. Why the fuck are you here, cadet? To contribute to mankind's victory, sir. That's bullshit. Look at you. I know you play with dolls. Well, yes, but only for role-playing revenge fantasies. Shut up, fuck nugget, tan hut. What's the point of intimidating him like that? It used to be a rite of passage. You know, break them down, build them back up. Nowadays, though, I think it's progressed into full-blown syphilitic insanity. Why the fuck are you so happy, Twinkle Toes? I can't wait to become a soldier and serve the king. Cadet, do you know why my eyes are so sucking in? No? It's because I once ejaculated in a man's ass so hard that my internal body pressure actually caved, and the force of gravity shot my eyeballs way into the back of my head. Now, knowing this, do you have a problem with homosexuals? Well, what? I said, do you have a problem with homosexuals? No! No, sir! Well, I do! Drop and give me 50! Faggot! How about you, horse face? I want to live comfortably in the capital and serve the military police. Headbutt! What? What the fuck? Let me tell you, cadet, you might not know, but the capital is home to a bunch of freaks. And when it's 3 a.m. inside the inner city and you're drunk and being aggressively solicited by a gaggle of Latvian transsexuals hopped up on barbiturates and fuck thunder, you do not have time to think! So next time I yell headbutt, you haul ass! You know he once commanded the survey corps, right? No, I, I had no idea. It's too bad. He used to be a rising star until his famous scandal. What, what happened? Well, nobody's clear on the specifics, but the official record states that he was caught engaged in an act so horrifyingly unique, each witness could only describe it using the same two words. What, what were they? Munchkin sodomy. How the fuck are you gonna beat a titan when even I can lift your scrawny ass? You think they won't eat you cause you're a midget? Ha! Look at you. You're like the Napoleon of cock shame. We don't even issue uniforms and hobbit size. Go back to the Shire and play ass frolic with wizards, Bilbo dick breath. <laughs> Holy sweet mother of God! Cadet, what is your major malfunction? Uh, I was hungry. Dear God, I sincerely hope you never have sex. The thought of you having kids makes me sick! <laughs> Don't be silly. Everyone knows you can't control babies. The magical stores decide whether you'll get one or not. Wait, mother of God, you dumb bitch! I do believe you are the stupidest sack of shit I've ever seen in my life, and I have lived, goddammit! Cadet, what is your name? Sasha, sir. Sasha? That sounds like a whore's name. Are you a whore, Sasha? Do you suck dicks for money? No, sir! Good! Now I hate- Stop eating the potato, goddammit! Now I hate your fucking name, Sasha, almost as much as I hate you. From now on, your name is Pyle. Am I understood, Private Pyle? Sir, yes, sir! One question, sir. If I share this with you, will you tell me where babies come from? <laughs> wow. Forced to run for six hours straight. Good morning, you Muppets! Today we have our first training! Trapeze! 
You cock sprinkles are gonna love this. Finally, you get a chance to show off how fucking gay you are while hanging gracefully in the air. This had better look like river dance performed by Broadway's finest homosexuals. I want to see you fairy sparkle and shit glittered us while balancing. If this doesn't look like Peter fucking Pan performed by the cast of Cirque du Soleil on a homoerotic ecstasy-fueled cruise ship, so help me God, I will personally murder each and every single one of you. Yes, look at her. Look at the way her body hangs there. Limp. Bored. Uninterested. Everything I like in a woman. What about that one? No, no, no! Aaron Yeager, you effusive cocksprout! What are you doing? Get yourself up right this instant! No, no, no! <laughs> Pull him up! I can do this! <gasps> yes! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! It's really happening! Hooray! The legend's real! Way to achieve basic confidence! <laughs> No, I can do it. Don't send me on the Gorgon Trail. <laughs> Aaron, your belt buckle is unfastened. Wait, really? Did you not know you need to fasten the buckle before wearing a belt? Uh, no, but... Thomas, show Eric and Jaeger how to buckle his belt. I can do it now. Did you honestly not fucking know how to wear a belt before you came in here? Seriously, look at this. Look, you dumb motherfucker! It's the easiest fucking thing to do! How the fuck did you not know how to buckle a belt? Aaron Yeager's a dumbass! Yeah, he is! How could you be so fucking stupid? You're giving Private Pile a run for her money, and until today I could have sworn that that was a task no man could do. You have truly opened my eyes, Aaron Yeager. Open them to how fucking stupid and low down son of a bitch stupid like you can be. Isn't that right, Private Pile? Sir, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Private Pile. Aaron Yeager, you are a failure of colossal magnitude and possibly the dumbest son of a bitch I've ever seen next to Pile. <sighs> but you pass. Yes, yes, fuck yes. Look at that, Mikasa! Look! Fuck you and your fat, stupid face, you bitch! Now nobody will know my mom was a whore! Wait, what? 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 Aaron's mama was a whore? Shit! is a smarmy douchebag whose very voice exudes a cock teasery of the highest offense. Has an obsession with lubricating his gear, probably born out of some situation involving sexual impotence in a nursing home. He also has delusions of running the government, but couldn't run a sweatshop if he had 30 Filipinos and a metric fuck ton of Adderall. Marco! If John was bad, well then here's Marco. The two go hand in hand like sobbing kids and alcohol abuse. This particular ass clown has delusions of being God himself, fancies himself a leader and resolves conflict with cornbread patty cake bullshit that makes me pop a rage boner simply out of spite. Sometimes I beat him just to listen to him cry. Where's your God now, you freckled fuck? Where's your God now? Annie, a quiet, stupid bitch. Sasha. A bumble fucking potato loving feral dipshit that can't follow a single order. Talks to trees. Have tried multiple times to kill her by leaving her miles away in the woods. The wolves keep dragging her broken and starved body back to camp. Almost as if they don't want her. Connie. An angry, mean, pissed off little chihuahua. Watching him maneuver around corners is like watching a foul, determined little rat running through a maze. Seriously, just look at him. The mere sight of him is enough to piss me off! Aaron! A complete and total fuck-up, but unique in his own personal brand of failure. If his sister wasn't around to egg him on, he'd be useless. As it stands, he's a hair above useless. 
Mikasa, a tactical genius unlike any other our empire has ever seen. In all my years, I have dreamt of having a star pupil like her, someone who could lead, obey, and destroy with unparalleled superiority. She is truly mankind's hero, a savior even. But she's a woman, bad form. Reiner, a retarded mongoloid fuck-up of epic proportions. I'm 95% sure he is actually a cross between a gorilla and pure concentrated ignorance. And last, but not least, Armin. This child is the ultimate culmination of human sin. He is the most terrifying creature I have ever met. Seriously, this kid is fucked. Something is horribly, horribly wrong with him. How someone could have loved something so twisted, so foul, so utterly fucked up beyond repair is beyond me. On the plus side, he is intelligent. But seriously, fuck that kid. I don't know what I've been told. Titan Puss is mighty cold. Titan Puss is mighty cold. <laughs> you came to us as failures and degenerates. After training for three years and sacrificing it all, you are still failures and degenerates. Fuck every single one of you. Tomorrow, you'll make the decision that you'll regret for the rest of your lives. You have three choices. Do you join the garrison protecting the towns and reinforcing the walls? Well, just look at that badge. If you like homoerotic fan thick and masonry, consider this your new home. Next, we have the Survey Corpse, where the remnants of your very short lives will be composed of pants shitting terror. Sign on up and get eaten by a fucking Titan. And finally, we have the Military Police. Now I know each and every one of you wants to get in there. Not because it's the easy life, but because you fairy fuck pixie dust cupcakes love the idea of a goddamn unicorn being your mascot. Seriously, look at that. That shit is gayer than a Christmas morning rainbow. The horn symbolizes the raging hard-ons you'll be having when you realize that breakfast begins with a nice round of cock slap in the communal hot tub. You cock hungry buffaloes are gonna love it in there, but I get the last lap because only the top 10 shit piles get the privilege. The rest of you are gonna have to be content with sucking your own dicks. And now, we present the best shit piles in the 104. I rank behind Aaron. I rank behind Mikasa. I rank behind everyone.